Today is February 20th and I am going to ask some information off the tree of knowledge that is the internet. It happens. Rarely it does, but sometimes it happens. Somebody comes up to you and they say to you, Hey, can I ask you a question? And for me, every time the person say ax instead of ask, it's like a tick in the head. It's like somebody shoves a needle in there and just sends me to nearly a rage that I have to constantly contain. It is annoying to the extreme. So imagine when my supervisor, when she used it the first time, she told me, go ax the manager. I, of course, assumed she would say ask, and so I started the motion without thinking about it twice. After which point I had to stop, rethink, and ask her, Hey, what did you say again? The word ask has its origins. All the way back in the words asking and axiom, which developed into ax, ask, and ash. All three of which existed at some point in time. However, the word ask became dominant as what we mainly use today. During the slave trade, African Americans who became slaves were introduced to the word ax instead of ask, and it has passed down through the generations. Even though it is among them even unpopular today, it is still being used. This could cause much confusion. As my supervisor told me to go ax the manager, if I was a more literal person than I already am, it could have been ended in a worse disaster. Imagine if Lizzie Borden was told to go ax her parents because the teacher didn't want to answer something. Would have had a much different story, wouldn't we? So do not come and ax me a question because I might ax you back. That's it for this week. There's a link in the description for an article about this in the LA Times. Ben, Philip, I'll see you next week.